different variations from any other background. Do this with a cat style, got one knee up. What I'm going to do is come over here, wrap over. Yeah, everyone may want to come around and watch this side. Uh, yeah, you can have a little count. So this arm. So we use this leg, take out this knee gently, push him out. talked about last week with walking back to it. The pressure on the elbow goes in the direction of the pinky finger. So his elbow, this, this arm is being pushed back by his by by the armpit. And then the pressure of the knee on, on this arm is pushing on that elbow. So it is just like the walking gatame that we did last week. The direction is towards the pinky just like we talked about last week. And the pressure on the elbow is coming from the knee. He's a means knee. Doesn't take a whole lot much you're here. Right. Okay. So we'll practice this, you know, the other arm wants you to do it very slowly. Be ready to tap. Remember everyone. So you start feeling it, you gotta tap. Okay, especially go easy as you push the knee out, don't just drop on it, just kind of take it down slow and then apply the arm bar. Yeah, I guess I guess a uh, couple of things when he uh, wraps his arm around and, and goes for the arm bar, he gets it in tight. I'm stuck. Alright? Now notice I might be able to bend my elbow a little bit here protected, but when he puts that foot down and puts that knee out, I get stretched out. I can try and keep my elbow bent again, but once he puts that foot up and applies the easy katami. It naturally straightens it out. I can't resist. Now, from here, too, he keeps his foot on my knee. Reason being, if I try to get up, he can keep pushing me down. All right? He's keeping me stretched out. If I'm able to get around that foot somehow and pull in, he loses that arm off a little bit. But as long as he keeps me down and stretched out, he's good to go. Yeah, and then this hand, too. I'm holding on for this if I don't let go. Yeah. I'm trying to move around or something. I'm trying to back off you. You can stick. If you got control, it's a whole lot fine. Is there something you're aiming for when you take that grip to make sure that you're on his elbow? Um, to be honest, I'm just. Or just kind of have. The, the, the deeper, the better, right? The deeper? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. even if it does get too deep, if he stretches me out, or he yeah, stretches that. Yeah, yeah, so I can sort of feel it. I guess I did realize. And I can sort of feel his elbow. So if he starts to get, he starts to get out here, then I'm going to lose it. So I want him right. tight. If he's too tight, like he just did. Here, don't have the arm. He's going to try and protect. He's protecting himself. So maybe I just push him out and I get to the point where I can feel his elbow now. And I can, I can measure the distance. I've got the, the grip here. I've got the control here. I've got the control here. Yes. Plus, I've got him flat. He can't get up. If he puts his knee out, I can just kick him out again. And that's another reason for this too, is if, if he doesn't have that grip, um, I might be sliding and be able just to get it popped out. But if he's got it, my head, he's got control of my head. Any other questions? Let's try. 
Try that pair up. Try that uh, a few times.